Stop the day you need to go on. So I'm trying to get lots of jobs done today. So I'm washing my bed, put my bed in the washing machine. What's the problem? The drawer fell off my washing machine. I hope this is not a sign of today's how it's going to be. I can't believe it fell off. It's absolutely rubbish. It's been loose for ages. It's fell off a few times and I've always managed to put it back on. And today I shut it and it just fell off and I thought, really, this has been the worst washing machine I've ever had. It's just crap. Don't ever buy Hoover washing machine, it's rubbish. Um, but I wonder if it'll work without a front on. So it's been going for a couple of minutes and so far we've had no leaks. So if it works without the front on, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, happy Wednesday. Where your washing machine front falls off. Right, calendar of the day. So I've just done all my lovely over makeup. I'm hoping that when I go back downstairs, my kitchen isn't flooded from my washing machine. So I've got on my favourite foundation, the Avon Serum Foundation, which has sun protection factor in it, 30, because the sun has got its hat on. Woohoo! So I've also got my uh, Renewal Serum on, which is my absolute favourite, as you all know. It's amazing. It makes you look so much younger. It's just magic. I don't really know what's in it, but it's wonderful. So, hello, Peggy. Hello, everybody. Where's your friends? Hello, everybody. Hello. There's lots of hellos go off in the morning, isn't there? So, calendar of the day. Let's have a look. Okay, let's hope it's a good one. Wednesday. Ooh, a beach. Um... Sounds of the wind and sounds of the sea make me happy just to be. Oh, that's so true, isn't it? I know a few people have said they're desperate for beach days. I haven't been to the sea for, I think it's probably about four, four, five years. It's a long time and I love the sea. I think this is the longest I've never not been. Um, it's sort of, obviously we had COVID and stuff, so it's difficult. And then after that, we ended up with Dolly. So going anywhere with three dogs is quite difficult if you've only got two dogs it's easy if you've got three it just makes it a little bit more difficult for traveling and stuff and my husband's a workaholic and I keep saying I need to go to the beach and he's like oh yeah but you've got three dogs it's a nightmare so if you love dogs but you've got more than two you'll understand where I'm coming from um but I am at some point going to make him take us all to the beach. I think we're going to go to like Mablethorpe or something but I need a beach day anyway so the sun has got his hat on Let's hope it's a lovely Wednesday. Oh, love is in the air. I thought they were doves at first, and I realised they were just little fat pigeons. But I love them. I love little fat pigeons. They're so cute. And the fact that there's two of them together, I think love is in the air. Oh, so the front didn't fall. Uh, the front didn't fall off. The front did fall off, but it didn't leak. Yay! So I hang this out, um, and then we need to get some fancy breakfast. Are you okay there? Hello. <laughs> Nothing wrong with your hearing, is there? Are you okay? She loves that donut. Honestly, last night I must have thrown that donut for an hour up and down the kitchen. You love it, don't you? You little donut. I'm glad we bought it for you. I know, you're beautiful, aren't you? Do you listen to me? Oh, are you one of my best friends? I love you very much. Oh, you are kind of giving me a wash. <laughs> So, I'm finally trying to get myself some bloody breakfast. So it's 20 to 11, I can't believe the time. So I'm making the Slimming World air fryer berry pop tart thing. I remember having this when I was following Slimming World and I thought, oh, looks that would work on Calo Counting. And it kind of does. Um, so I thought, I'm gonna make it. So I'm very busy, I've rustled it all together. I couldn't remember how to make it. Couldn't even remember where the recipe was from. I had to Google it and then it came up with the like Slimming World thing. And I thought, oh yeah, I remember now. It was a long time ago. My blooming jam had gone mouldy, unbelievably. But luckily, I'd got another jar of jam. Um, my bread had gone mouldy. <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, so annoying. Obviously, when the weather's warm, things do go off a bit. So luckily, I had got a bit more bread because I thought I really fancy it. And then when everything was mouldy, I thought, oh no, I can't make it. Uh, but luckily, I did have some spare. So, squash it all down now put it in the air fryer okay so breakfast in the air fryer come outside time we're washing out look at the size of the weeds <gasps> the weed the weed in the middle is absolutely ginormous um but i'm not dropping my lavender down yet because 
The bees are still absolutely loving it. We've totally done our bit for the bees this year. Um, I'll try and find one. I love watching the bees. So lovely. Look, we can't even get on and off the garden. We have to go round that way because there's, the lavender's right over the whole path. But they're absolutely loving it. They're very busy bees, aren't they? So, breakfast! Finally, it took me longer than it should have done, but there is my little raspberry tart breakfast with uh, light and free cherry yogurt and raspberries. Off to enjoy it. Okay, so it's 11.35 and I've sat in the chair and done nothing. <gasps> I'm so lazy. I've got washing tang out, I've got empty dishwasher, uh, fill up the washing up bowl. Look how tired Dolly is, that's how I feel. Um, I'm going to just start looking at jewellery and stuff on the internet because Ruby's got this ring, let me show you and she doesn't really like it anymore so that is it and she doesn't like it anymore and at first I thought oh I'll sell it and then I tried it on and thought I actually quite like it so I've had to put another ring on with it as well so it doesn't slip but it's got like a frazzled face on it which that is how I often feel <laughs> and I thought Chunky rings are so trendy at the minute and you lose money when you sell jewellery so I thought I'm just going to wear it and I really like it and I've been looking at others that they do, they do some like really big chunky gold ones and I suddenly thought I really fancy some really chunky rings, I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm probably hormonal but look at his frazzled face and I thought yeah that's how I feel. <laughs> anyway I need to get off my lazy bum and go and hang my washing out. Right the rest of the washing is out. That looks like a rain cloud. Don't you dare rain. Don't you dare. She knows that Ruby's got out of bed. Look at her. Do you want to go and see Ruby? Where's Ruby going find her then? Where's Ruby? Woohoo! Is Ruby still in here? Is Ruby, where's Ruby? Where is she? Where's Ruby? She's gone to the loo. Is she in the bathroom? Say, come on, Ruby. <laughs> she was waiting for you teenagers that don't get out of bed till dinner time <laughs> okay so we need to tackle all these jobs so i think i'm going to ring my mum i'm always ringing my mum so i'm going to ring my mum and do all these boring jobs and then after that we'll have some dinner and then we must pull these weeds out in the front garden that's very important oh and here i am i've not seen you today so here i am so i've got shorts on um, with a real nice little belt that comes undone on its own all the time. So I've tried to like tuck it back in on itself. Um, and this really cool t-shirt which I bought from the vintage shop that I went to a while ago. I love it in there. It says legendary but I've tucked it in so you can only see like the ledge end. <laughs> but it's really cool. That's actually a crown um, and a face. It's really cool when you actually look at it. Anyway, so um, my mum didn't answer. So I've still not done all my jobs because I wanted to talk to my mum while I did them and she wasn't in. Oh, so I still need to go and wash up. Why is my life always so complicated? Right, okay, so my husband's in clearing his garage out because he wants to paint the garage floor, which he wants me to help him do. Um, but anyway, so he's cleared his garage, he's put all his stuff in the back of his van and I've just realised that my gardening stuff is in the back of his van. So I've just rung him, I'm like, can I get to my gardening stuff? He went, no, it's in the back of my van. Oh no! So I desperately need to pull these weeds out of my front garden, they look so scruffy. So I've literally got a bin bag and a pair of thin like gloves that you wear for like colouring your hair and stuff. So I've got no tools at all. So I've got to see if I can get the weeds out with just, just this. Oh, what a nightmare! Anyway, it's never simple is it? Let's go. Look how big they are. Please don't prickle me. That is disgusting. Look at it. Oh dear. Well, I still managed to fill a bin bag. I just seen a beautiful butterfly. It's all nearly landed on me. It made me jump. It was so pretty. Wow. 
that was the shortest bit of gardening ever. So I can't really do anything else because I would have gone out the back and pulled some big weeds out, but I can't get my gloves. I've got no snippers or anything. So I'm gonna have to wait till it brings my gardening bag back out of his van. Oh dear. Oh, and that won't be today because he's gone to Wales. I'm sure he's gone to Wales. He's gone miles away and I don't think he's back till about seven or eight o'clock tonight. All the way to Wales. So I've been putting things away. I'm I need to go and have my dinner. Um, and I just thought I'd make Edna look a bit fancier. Is it Edna or Edna? Edna. Um, I've even found a bag for her. I could laugh. She's so cute. So we've given her a diamond necklace, pearl headband. She's a bit top heavy, so you have to be careful. Okay. And she likes. Hello, darling. She likes to I'm talk to Edna. you. Um, I'm gonna stand there, sort of behind my radio over there. Oh no, darling, you don't. Oh, don't you want to go there? <laughs> so, I'm just making her look pretty first. Uh -huh. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Marvellous. <laughs> Superb. This is what my day has become. Okay, darling. Talking to uh -huh. Edna's and dogs. Whatever, and darling. Whatever. Pack ladies. <laughs> Pack ladies. Oh, Edna, you're so fancy. So, she's got a bag, a dog, pearls. Um, even a Chanel hair clip. <laughs> she's had to stand in the Lego park so I don't want her to fall over. I'm not exactly sure where she's going yet, but for now, she's going to stand there. I love her. I've had far too much fun decorating her. Dinner! I had too much fun messing about with that doll. Dinner! So, dinner, so we've got Philadelphia lightest with rabita thins and little tomatoes. Um, I'm really addicted to these rabbit dinners. They're so delicious. You get different flavours. This is the cheese and peppery one. They're just lovely. You've made it into the car. Ta -da! So, lipstick of the day. Can't even remember. Is it Can't Quit Cafe? No. Can't remember what it is, but it's the matte one I got the other day, the new one, and I've got the just peachy over the top. As you can see, it makes it all like really glossy. It's lovely. Mm, so nice. Right. Anyway, we're nipping to shop, because I've got to go and get some ham and a couple of other bits. So I, go, I thought oh, I'll go to the village little shop thing, and then we can go to our shop. Let's go rummaging. Woohoo! We've arrived. Look at all my rings. I've tried to do a little bit of a ring. Oh, I've just dropped my keys. <laughs> I've tried to do a bit of a ring sack. Woo! Um. I used to hate rings on every finger. No, I think they look really cool. Anyway, let's go for a rummage.
glass bowls so when I first got in there I picked up four and two were broken so I was like mm. and then as I looked round um, I found some better ones so I got four yay so I can make my fancy little pudding in them just what I wanted uh, very interesting there love it so much I just stand there like a weirdo looking at the bric-a-brac because there's so much to look at and I just stand there and I'm like it just I just love it <laughs> I could stand in there all day. Anyway, we need to go home. Right, we made it home. I've grabbed my friends. They all want to come today. Must be my lucky day. It's been my lucky day that you all want to come with me. It's took me about 20 minutes to catch uh, Dolly. Because she's so hard to catch to put a lead on. You jump everywhere, don't you? Never met such a twirly whirly dog. Right, ladies. I'm already tangled up now. Right, are we ready? Just need to untangle you, then we can go. really because when I left the sun had gone in and it was quite pleasant then we got halfway around the walk and the sun came out and it was far too hot and if I'd have known it was that hot I wouldn't have walked them so we walked as slow as anything we literally we took like the slowest steps ever because Winnie struggles a bit when it's hot so we've been on a very very slow walk why well, didn't like half your fur's missing Dolly <laughs> Right, time to get tea ready. So we're having um taco rice thing, I think it's called. Really, really nice. These are all the ingredients you need. Two stock cubes, powder puree, mince, rice, onion, and they're your herbs that you need. And you literally chuck the onion and mince in the pan, your herbs, your rice, your pint of stock with two stock cubes in, two tablespoons of tomato puree, and then cheese over the top. And it's just lovely. Oh, it's done. It's just sat there waiting for me. But I've realised I've got to make my bed. I've got to put my clean sheets and stuff on. Oh, so I'm going to quickly do that and then finish this off with a bit of cheese and then we can enjoy it. Clean bedding. Is there anything better than getting in a clean bed? 
Oh, can't wait for later. My tea is nearly ready. As you can tell, all my friends are waiting. Not sure what Winifred's doing. Dun, 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 dun. Winifred, what are you doing? What are you doing under there? You are funny. So, it's nearly ready. I've weighed out my Doritos and my cheese. I'm just waiting for it to finish warming up. Do you know how hard it is not to eat all those? These are the tastiest things I've ever had. They make my water. They're absolutely delicious. Don't buy any because you'll eat the bag. Ooh, dinner! So there's my little taco dinner thing, whatever it is. But it's delicious. Oh, I have to enjoy it. My tea is delicious. What time is it now? Tea time! Let's go! <laughs> That's right, Winifred, it's tea time. Yes, it goes in there, my dear. Here's my glasses I bought. Aren't they fancy? They're perfect for putting like little puddings and stuff in and make sure you don't eat too much because obviously they're not massive. But they're really lovely. And obviously when you're not using them, they do stack inside of each other so they don't take up too much room. And then I've got this cute little pink pedal bin, which is like brand new, three pound. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I bought this. I've no idea why I bought this, um, but I thought when I make things, like if I do some toast and stuff, you can still like put this in it and then it like imprints me with love. I don't know why I bought that. I just did. <laughs> but I loved it. I love what I got. So after the last couple of weeks, I've gone a bit regular choice crazy. So I showed you these that I got the other day and then I've also got these, which I got off eBay and these off eBay look at them i'm not sure if I, I can walk in them um but i've been so used to wearing chunky boots that i have to sort of get back into the habit of wearing little heels but oh, aren't they gorgeous i think the red ones might be slightly lower which is probably why the red ones are the most comfiest but aren't they beautiful the irregular choice shoes are just like a work of art like they're just absolutely amazing you almost want them as ornaments so absolutely gorgeous um i know a few people have asked me to try them on so let's get them on first pair they don't look that good with shorts they're better with sort of trousers and stuff but there's the first pair they're very sparkly right next ones pink ones pink ones are so pretty i really like them um i bet with some really nice trousers they'd look absolutely lovely so that's the pink ones right now let's try the red ones red ones the red ones are amazing they're almost like a shoe and a boot all in one oh, look they're just absolutely fabulous i love them i can't wait to wear them i think they're absolutely amazing um probably wouldn't wear them in shorts but i kind of think that you could um and i don't think the camera really picks them up when they're under spotlights they shine like anything is that better? I think you can appreciate them a little bit more. And the pink ones are like shimmery. And then obviously the silver ones are really sparkly. The pink ones are a little bit more understated, but they're still absolutely gorgeous. What fun! Right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. I need to put all my shoes away. So many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is Sweet Fluffles. My website is down below, my Avon's down below, my vintage shop's down below where I've had a massive clear out. There's all sorts of bits bobs on there. And feel free to make me an offer. So I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.